Hey, I'm Vinny and this is Makeify. So we recently got one of these video conferencing devices, you know, where you can make video calls with friends and family. The problem is I don't really have a good place to put it, but I was thinking maybe trying to mount it on top of the television, but it's gonna need some sort of um, shelf or something to sit on. So I think I'm gonna try to design and build something like that. And I thought it might be interesting to show how I go about designing a project like that and then putting it together. It should be a pretty simple build, but I think the design, there's some challenges there and it might be an interesting story. So let's get started. All right, so this is the TV. And what I'm thinking is make a little shelf back here somehow to set the device on it. The problem is that this TV has lots of angles and weird curves and things that makes making a, a shelf a little challenging. But what I'm thinking is you have just a board on the top here uh, for the device to sit on and then a piece of wood that drops down in the front, I don't know, half an inch, an inch or so. And then well, my first thought was to have a piece drop down and come down and rest on the back here, down past where the TV stops curving. But that piece would have to be pretty long. And the other issue is that the top of the TV isn't actually perfectly like level compared to the ground. It actually slopes down a little bit, which is a little annoying and I'm afraid a device that kind of sits, or a shelf that sits like this, uh, it's going to actually tilt and just not be good. So there is this little notch here and I'm thinking I can put a piece of wood kind of underneath the, sh the top shelf and it'll hold the shelf hopefully onto the TV well enough. Um, but also if I make that a little, a little tall, I can keep, keep that the top leveled to the ground. So I need to make a few measurements. So on the top of the TV, the distance from the front of the TV to this little notch where I'm going to put a little piece of wood uh, is like one and a quarter inches. All right, and to get that, the, the, the depth of that notch, I'm going to use a level and a ruler here. And it looks like it is six sixteenths to three eighths of an inch deep. All right, now I'm going to measure the base of the device itself. And the length looks like it's about eight and three quarters inches. And then the short distance is, it's about three and a quarter, maybe three and a half or so. So let's go draw this out because that's always uh, helpful to me to visualize everything. All right, let's draw this out. It's going to basically be shaped like this. Our measurements, this, this is the part that hangs down the front of the TV and it should be about an inch. This distance, this is a critical distance. It's one and a quarter inches. This is the little piece that sits down in that notch. It needs to be three eighths of an inch, that distance right there. And then this whole distance up top uh, is where the device sits and it's going to be about three and a half inches. I might make that four inches. We'll see. Now I'm going to make this out of uh, some wood that is um, half an inch thick. Okay. None of this is the scale obviously. And I think I'm going to make this in three pieces. So I think I'm just going to do simple butt joints. So basically this top piece will be one piece of wood. This will be a piece. That'll be a piece. And I'm going to orient them. So hopefully I'll be gluing long grain to long grain. I'll show you that down in the shop once we get there. And I'm just going to use glue and I think that'll be strong enough. Uh, there are a variety of ways of making butt joints. I could do like a, a, a miter here, cut these at 45 degree angle. Um, you can do things. You could, I could cut like a dado out of here and uh, you can get very complicated with this with something like this. Uh, I am going to do it the simplest way. It's also probably the least strong, but I don't think this thing is going to uh, need to support a whole lot of weight or undergo a lot of stress in the way of forces acting on these pieces. So I think it'll be fine. 
Um, but if you want to know um, some better ways of doing this, making these butt joints basically, uh, David Picciuto from Make Something just put out a great video uh, talking about different butt joints. So I will put a link to that up here and there'll be a link down in the video description so you can check that out as well. Okay, let's go down to the shop and actually make this thing. All right, I got this, this piece of half inch red oak uh, that I just got from a big box home improvement store. Very easy to find this kind of thing. And I'm going to cut it into pieces, the three pieces I need uh, on the table saw with a cross cut sled. There are a million ways of cutting a piece of wood. Uh, this is just the way that I think is going to be easiest and most precise given the tools I have. All right, here are the pieces I just cut. I cut one piece for you know the top where the, the device is gonna sit. This one inch piece will go there, and that's what sits on the front of the TV. And then I, I cut two pieces for the little notch in the back there, but looking at it, I don't really think I need to double that up. So I don't need that. So I think, I think I'm just gonna do it basically like this. And one thing I want to point out is I intentionally cut all these pieces so that the grain is running in the same direction in all the pieces. That way when I glue them up, I'm gluing long grain onto long grain as opposed to gluing, say, end grain here, uh, which end grain soaks up gl glue and it doesn't make a particularly strong joint. Uh, all right, now it's time to just glue these up. Okay, now this piece needs to be exactly one and a quarter inches from there. So I'm going to measure this and then glue it into place. So I have the shelf and the glue is all dry here. So I'm gonna just try it out before I, I finish this. Um, so we'll just set this there, ooh. All right, so that's actually a, a really nice fit. Uh, yeah, that's, that's awesome. Okay, now let's just try it with the device. Oh shoot, okay. Uh, we have a problem. <laughs> The, this device apparently is much more back heavy than I realized and my shelf just tips right over. Uh, what if I move it forward? Okay. That's pretty stable. That's pretty stable there. Okay, so actually let me change the camera angle. Okay, for this to be stable, uh, the device has to sit out a little bit, I'm gonna measure that. It's about three quarters of an inch. So what I'm gonna do, let's take this down. I think what I'm gonna do is rebuild this. I have extra wood, I bought extra wood just in case. <laughs> uh, but basically, same idea except I'm not gonna put this piece right at the front. I'm gonna basically move these two pieces back three quarters of an inch so that we have um, basically the shelf part here hangs out three quarters of an inch. So it shouldn't take me too long to do that. I'm gonna run and do that and then try that out. All right, attempt number two. You can see the new design. Try it out here. All right, looking good. Put this on there just like that. I would be, yeah, I'd be like that. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, 
That's pretty good. All right. I'm gonna take this back downstairs, sand it, paint it, and it should be good to go. All right, put that there, that's good. And this guy, all right. All right, I think that's gonna work out. I think this is, it's good. I painted it black because I wanted it to blend in with the black electronics. I didn't want it to be too conspicuous and it's, it's pretty good in that regard. Um, it's a very simple project, I know, but I, I, I wanna make more videos where I focus more on the design process and de how I deal with problems as I come up, like <laughs> the problem that came up here where we had to kind of redesign this part way through. But anyway, I hope you liked the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. You can also subscribe to keep up to date with my newest videos. Thanks for watching. Hey, I'm Vinny and <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna walk you through how I'm gonna design how I, oh man, what am I trying to say? Ooh, so let's go draw this. I'm not looking at the camera, okay. All right, so I have the shelf dry, back, uh, like half an inch, three quarters of an inch, three quarters of an inch.